Okay, hello everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to capture the video from something like a single board computer like this or any kind of uh, device, even a video game uh, console or whatever, or probably even another computer with a HDMI port to your computer. So all you need is a HDMI video capture USB device like this so the way you use this is pretty simple um, for this uh, SBC it has a HDMI cable there so all you do is you just connect the HDMI cable like so just like connect it here with this I guess. That's the HDMI cable, and then you connect the other part to your um, HDMI video capture, like so. And then you just connect this to your computer's uh, USB port. It could be a USB 2.0 or a USB 3.0 port. I think this is a USB 2.0 port. They do sell. Um, HDMI video capture uh, devices like this with um, USB 3.0 ports as well. But this is a USB 2.0 port. You just connect it to your computer and you can uh, get, you can record what comes out of your video game console, SVC or computer or whatever basically. In this case, it's an Orange Pi PC, but today I'll be recording it out of a Raspberry Pi. So, um, a Raspberry Pi would have something like this. It, ha it would have a, this is a HDMI port right here. It has a, I think this is a mini HDMI port. So this connects to a, um, this connects to your Raspberry Pi and this part connects to your um, monitor but in this case this part would connect to to here instead like so and then this part will connect your Raspberry Pi and then you would connect this to your computer and you would get recording but you do need to download uh, software first you use this this device did not come with any software but you could use a program called um, OBS Studio which I'll show you where to get it and how to use this as well on the next part of this video okay now I'm back on my computer so I just connected my SPC or single board computer HDMI um, cable to my HDMI video capture USB device and uh, I connected the USB 2.0 port to a USB port on my computer so the next thing you have to do is you need to uh, download OBS Studio this is a free open source uh, video capture software you could also use it for streaming as well but in this video I'm going to show you how to capture the video from a device that has a HDMI port to your computer so for me I have Windows 11 on this computer I have Windows 11 Pro so I would select this and when you cl left click on this it's going to start downloading to your computer you have a Mac OS, you can select that. If you have Linux, it's that. For me, it's Windows. So after I download that, if you have Windows 11 or Windows 10, it should go into this folder. This is where that um, application file should download to. And then you just open it up, run the program, install it on your computer, and you should get a icon like this so I'm gonna run this right now 
and I have to select a, a source. So I have to go here and select that video capture card. So it is a video capture device. You could name it whatever you want. For me, it's video capture device. Okay, right now it's capturing the image from my um, Raspberry Pi 4 single board computer. For here, you would select USB video. I could select my Elgato Game Capture HD, but I'm using this. That's what I want to capture from. You could configure the video here by changing the contrast, the brightness or whatever. But for me, I'm just fine with it. It's at 148. You can make it lighter if you want. 148 is fine. So that's what I'm going to leave it at. And um, resolution, just default device. This should be at uh, 1080p, so OK. So playing it as it is, just recording it as it is, you're not going to get any sound output out of it. But I could change that. I can go here, and I could go to monitor off. This is right now, it's at monitor off. I want monitor and output, so I can hear what I'm recording as well on this program or OBS Studio. Next thing I want to do is go to settings, go to output, and I could select the directory where I want my video to go to. In this case, I'm going to select H drive. If you have just the C drive or one hard drive, you can select C drive and select a directory. For me, I'm going to select H. I have a directory called Captures. This is where all my video captures go to. And I'm going to select that. And this is where I'm going to get my output after I record it. So, okay, good. So now I'm going to go back to my Orange Pi PC. Actually, I'm going to start recording this right now, just like that. Right now it's recording. This is a CPU uh, power that's being used on my computer as a result of, no, it's just a CPU power that's being used on my computer. So it stands at about 16.3%. So now I'm gonna go to my, my Orange Pi. As you can hear the sound output from the video capture device. Whatever, what, what is being recorded, you could hear it on the software on OBS Studio. So this is what's being recorded, what you see on the screen. So if you play uh, games like this, if you play a video game like this, there's latency here. Let me get out of here. Okay, I'm going to go back to my computer now. This computer that is. Um, I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to go back to where I captured that video. 
this is what I recorded. You could hear the sound, you could see the video, and that, that's what was recorded with uh, my uh, HDMI video capture USB device. Okay. And the amount of memory that it um, took was 41.8 megabytes of RAM for about, let's see how long the video is. Two minutes and 12 seconds of video footage from my uh, SPC or single board computer. If you would like to basically get the output to display as well, you can't do this with this HDMI video capture device. However, there is a way to do do something about that. So I'm going to go to Amazon and show you. They sell something called an HDMI splitter. You have to get the right one, however. Uh, let's see which one. A HDMI splitter that um, you could get the output to two uh, screens at one time. See if that's it. No, that has a selector. That's not right. The HDMI splitter, one in, two out. One source, two displays. Okay, I think this is the one. So this thing displays the two HDMI outputs at one time. It doesn't have a selector. This is something you would want. If you would want it to display images at the same time there are other ones as well it's not the only one um let's see yeah that's the one this is the one that you would need this will enable you to output the two monitors so one to the hdmi video capture and one to a HDMI monitor, which so you could see the see what you're recording, or if you're playing video games, you could you could see that, and there would be no latency because whatever goes through here has latency when you play a video game, and that could affect your gameplay because there's a slight delay when it's being transferred to your to this to your HDMI video capture to your software here, OBS Studio. So that's all I wanted to show you here. So I'm going to exit this. And you could get something like this. And it would it would be helpful if you're playing video games and recording it. And um, there are more expensive um, HDMI video capture cards like Avermedia. 
HD, uh, let me see. My Aver Media capture cards. These are more expensive. Elgato as well. That's the one that I'm using recording this video. I'm using an Elgato Game Capture HD card. And these are much better quality, but they cost a lot more, as you can see. The cost is more, basically. But the one that I'm using is pretty cheap. I'll leave it in the video descriptions below. And um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And thanks. For